Gonna have a little afternoon tea and Trump. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. So hey y'all, today I'm having a little. Um, it's not quite iced tea. I just made it such a long time ago. It's this is just some um, celestial seasonings, peppermint tea. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd have a little of that and just catch up with y'all this early afternoon. Um, so it's about a week before my show has its first audiences, in fact, on Tuesday the 10th of May. That is when we will actually know it won't be Tuesday the 10th of May. It'll be Wednesday the 10th of May is when we're going to be having, uh, you know, a preview audience in watching the show. And it's actually going to be our dress rehearsal. But because there's so much audience participation built into the show, and I know you guys are like, what? There's audience participation too? Yeah, so there's a lot of segments. In fact, uh, if you guys watched Alex's video, he talks about the fact that there's a game show in the middle of the show, and yes, there is a game show, and someone from the audience gets pulled up from the stage and gets to be the participant in a game show that's that takes place on the stage. And there's also, there's a wedding that takes place in the show, and the audience is invited to the reception. So there's, there's, there's various moments where the audience um, will be involved. There's also a community action research project that takes place in the middle of the play where the audience will kind of have to do some research on something that's happening in the play and be providing the information that the actors will then use in the scene so anyway this is um yeah so this is a lot of things because I, I do you know i practice popular theater so i i don't kind of i don't like the idea that the audience is just sitting there um you know just passive but I, you know, in the theater of the oppressed, we we call them spect actors, not spectators. Anyway, so um, there's a lot of things, and we can't really rehearse the play fully without having an audience. So the the actors will get one shot to rehearse the play with an audience in the dress rehearsal, and then the play will open the next day. So that is. Thursday, May 11th, 2017. Um, I'll put some information. For, if you happen to be in Brooklyn or New York or New Jersey or Connecticut close enough and you want to come and see the show, I would definitely, you know, come and see the show. It's certainly not going to be like anything that you've ever seen. I don't know if you've ever seen a musical on the history of race in America that's in spoken word with hip hop and music and dance numbers and audience participation all happening at the same time. And I think the show is going to be like an, an hour and 20 minutes. So that's going to be packing a lot into it. So um, that said, I want to talk a little bit about Donald Trump today. Today, Donald Trump is supposed to be getting having a phone call with President of Russia, Vladimir Putin. And this call could mean a lot or it could mean nothing. Uh, who knows? We have people on, you know, all sides speculating about what this call means. And some are saying that, you know, what's at stake is the U.S. and Russia getting engaged in a, in a, in a conflict, which likely would become a nuclear conflict, which is very, very scary. And um, uh, yeah, it's very, very scary. And so then there are others who think that this is all some kind of a, you know, a little game that they're playing and that, that Trump is really Putin's puppet anyway. And that, you know, the bombing in Syria, which was of a an airfield, but where the airfield was bombed, it didn't actually do any significant damage, and the, the airfield was up and running in two days. So there are people who are speculating that it was just a way for Trump to make it look like he was being aggressive towards the Russians. Meanwhile, he's being aggressive towards, you know, North Korea in ways that have me feeling very uncomfortable. So that's another thing. Um, so I do hope that people are paying attention to that. And yeah, people should check out and find um, and see how this see how this turns out. Um, my fingers are crossed. Again, I keep saying that I hope Trump really has his head in the game and um, can, you know, be at least sort of presidential to keep us out of some kind of a major conflict. And of course, if there's a conflict between the U.S. and Russia, that's going to probably, in you know, affect the whole planet. So yeah, hoping the best for that. You guys were so sweet responding to the shout outs yesterday. I'm glad it was meaningful to you guys. It was definitely meaningful to me. You guys mean a lot to me. I realized that I did not shout out Amber Dawn Pullen, who I happen to know is uh, moving or just moved 
to Toronto, moved, basically changed cities and so is in a new apartment. So Amber, I'm thinking about you and wishing you lots of luck. Karen, I know that you are also um, moving into your new place in Chiang Mai. So if you're following the Lost Lemurian, do check out the vlog and get a look at Karen and her hubby's new place in Chiang Mai. So yeah, fingers crossed for everyone that they're having uh, a lot of luck and finding happiness in their new places. Um, so talking just a little bit more about all of you and the way you impact my life. Occasionally, and I've mentioned this, I will, you know, just check you guys out. I'll see who's doing stuff. Some of you are vloggers in your own right, and I like to see what you're posting about and learn a lot from that. And we'll also, you know, check out your playlist. I'll check out who you're subscribed to if you have that information available. And so, um, yes, to, uh, this morning, actually, one of you um, responded, and I'm going to take a, a, a swing at this. Um, I think it's Adelina Red. I think it's Adelina Red 1. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna bet a dollar that it's Adelina Red 1. And if I'm wrong, Adelina, tell me where I can send a dollar to you, if that's meaningful to you at all. But um, there was a message from Adelina Red saying, you know, I was listening and I didn't hear my name and it was whatever, whatever, whatever. And of course, you know, this was a, there's, you know, there's a lot of you that were posting. So I was just trying to catch folks who just in the past couple of weeks had posted, you know, four or more uh, times, um, which is a lot. That's like almost, you're, that means you're almost watching every video. Um, and so uh, I, you know, you know, I was like, I'm watching you now. Now, now you're on my radar, and now I'm going to see what's going on. And so I went to uh, check out uh, Adelina's, out Adelina Red's profile, and uh, there was a playlist there, um, or at least their YouTube page. And there was a there was a playlist there, and the very first video was Alan Watts. Now, I don't know if any of you have heard about Alan Watts, but I intend to be doing a little bit more research and the video was finding yourself and I was just I was really blown away by this video where Alan Watts is really talking about this idea of you know when you're searching for yourself you're, the idea of searching starts from this understanding or belief that what you are looking for is not there and really proposes that we have everything that we need with us all the time. And, you know, our lives are about coming to the realization, coming to the understanding that we're here, we're here and we are capable. <laughs> we are here and we have it. We don't have to go searching for happiness. It's here. Um, and of course, that's a, you know, a very kind of a generalized view of the world. If you're in the middle of a war zone, for example, or if you're in an abusive relationship, you know, you might find ways to free yourself from that. But just this idea that self-contained, we are what we need. We are what we need. And maybe that is paraphrasing the idea and maybe it's not exactly what Alan Watts had in mind, but I believe that. And he shares the story of, um, I think there's sort of like a wise figure who uh, sees someone meditating and um, the person, you know, the person asks, you know, what, am, what, what are you doing? What are you doing there? And the person says, well, I'm, you know, I'm here. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to become the Buddha. I'm trying to become, uh, uh, I'm trying to become the Buddha or something, something similar to that. Um, but it's basically trying to find enlightenment, trying to find myself, right? And so uh, the person who asked the question goes and they get a brick and they start polishing the brick and this person says, what are you doing? And they, and they say, I'm trying to turn this brick into a mirror. And um, the person says, well, I, you know, that's not possible. And, and the, the response is sort of like, you know, uh, uh, me, uh, you know, uh, you meditating to become the Buddha is a, makes about as much sense as me polishing this brick to become a mirror. And 
I'm, I'm, I'm ruining it. I'm gonna leave a link to the video and I hope that you all go and watch it and I hope that you get um, a little something out of it, but it, it, um, it made me feel very, it left me feeling very emotional and you guys know that I'm doing this cleanse and there's a point in the cleanse when for me it becomes very, very centering, very centering. Um, to the point where I've started responding, responding to people's, you know, people leave messages that I don't know what their intentions are, but they're things that the wording of them reminds me of the wording that might be used if you're trying to hurt someone or cause someone pain. And I'm just feeling so um, in touch right now that... I can understand that that's a person who's not very happy. And even though they may d be directing their anger out towards the world, the person that they're probably the most angry with is themselves. And so I do a lot more for myself and them to just wish them well and hope that there's someone in their life who loves them and, you know, just wish them the best. Because I can leave that feeling great. <laughs> I can leave that. I can leave that exchange and feel so, so good and hopeful for them. And maybe they will take that well and maybe they won't, but at least I can leave that comment with some hope for them. You know, I can walk away from that not wishing for really any outcome other than the best for them. So, I don't know, that's kind of where I am today. And I wanna thank Adelina Red one for helping me get there. So, so yeah, so yeah. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. <laughs> Love yourself, peace. And I love myself.